the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. Hey. I know you'll enjoy this this, sec, this session that we had this week. Uh, I have broken it down in parts, part A through B or C or E. <laughs> but the bottom line is, we talk about the fact is that Jesus walked Christians. And the fact is that the God of this world has blinded the minds of non-believers. So we need to be able to teach the gospel in Yeshua's way. And show everybody that we are working. We're no longer blinded. We are supposed to be able to preach the gospel, spread that light so that others can see. Rise and shine for the light has come. Enjoy the segment. I know you'll love each part that comes up. Uh, about two hours we did the whole thing. So we broke it down in you know 25 seconds and so forth so that you can enjoy. I thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this week. And remember, Yeshua. Which is the trans, which is the Hebrew name for Jesus, is Lord. Amen. God bless you, and I see you when I see you. Bye bye. My point being is, people say that God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Right. And uh, that people weren't born certain different ways other than what God designed. Well, God mm -hmm. didn't design a murderer. No. That's, that's not what he did. He, he designed Adam and Eve. Right. Now, after that fall, that was not God's design. There was something added to it that yeah. corrupted it, that made it that, that like like your, your computer. Mm -hmm. If you add something to it that's corrupt, it will yes, not sir. operate according right. to what the design of that computer was. It right. will slow down, it will buffer, it will actually lose files, it will actually start destroying itself, mm. which is exactly what was happening with man. And each generation became more and more corrupt. Now, not every person, but in those seeds, there was the potential of just straight out evil yeah. because of who those seeds are tied to. Yeah. Now, yeah. The, 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 the thing that fascinates me is you don't hear about Adam and Eve doing any more sin. No, <laughs> no you don't. You, you don't. don't hear about that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, you didn't. You hear none about those two characters except for the fact that they conceived more children. Yeah. That was so, it. Uh, and he lived 900 some years yeah, too. Yeah. So um, there, there's a lot to be said when, when people say, you know, I was born feeling this way. You, you might want to believe me. Mm. I was hey, born hey, feeling should... like I was a woman. I was born feeling like I was a man trapped in a, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, well, and I, uh, yeah, because things weren't killing. Remember, yeah. go on you say the, the conversion of, of, of nature. Yeah. The lion. You okay. know, the there's, scripture there's says. Children that are born and just start killing animals. Yes, sir. And just, animals just, kill just, each other. Just just out of curiosity, a desire mm -hmm. to, to, to kill. Yeah. You know, yeah. when they say, well, he, he was killing birds and. and, and and squirrels and stuff and mutilating them and, and putting them up in boxes and, you know and stuff like that they have curiosity with that and then grow up to be a, a mass murderer come on now you, know, the, the, you can't say that god didn't birth that person out <laughs> that way exactly you know yeah. and, and god did it no no, no. He, he was born from the sea of the sea yes sir <laughs> And you know, it, it think about even nature. Nature wasn't attacking man, right? Nature wasn't even attacking each other. Yeah. Uh, everything was, all the food was based on, you know, really we're all most vegetarians really, because that's what the food that was given us to yeah. eat. Yeah. And then, well, you know, we came, uh, 
predators and prey. Right? That, that's that's the that's the Adam and Eve would have survived in, the, in, the, in that paradise if if those animals were acting the way they were built to the act. Right? Buying well, tiger and bear. over those animals as well. So. so what? So we lost our authority then. Yeah. Yeah. We lost our authority, and now now a tiger can kill you, a bear can kill you. And I've seen. You ever seen the ones that have been domesticated? Uh, you like a lion or something? They will. They just love. You know. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen you know, something. There's like still that. that. There's always that instinct that's in them. Is in them. But that, people that get but hurt you see that, yeah. I know you can. I'm just saying the fact that you can see where they can be yeah. loving. You know. Yeah. Uh, they won't even eat your dog <laughs> because they've been taught that way. Yeah. Uh, but if you go back to the natural instinct, they go back and learn to be killers. And they be vicious on how they kill. But that's just how it is. I'm just saying. So we as Christians, I mean, they change this whole title thing. They wake up. Christians need to be woke. Because we we have to, we must be sleep if you're not doing the gospel. If you're using, I mean, I think that by the fact you think about it in Galatians, he said, who be with you? Yeah. Ooh, wake up, y'all. Hey, somebody brought, hey, brother asked, what? Think of a tip, get some more on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up and put it on the screen. Because <laughs> that's what we need to be wake. That may the title need to be wake up Christians. Or well, Christians need to be woke. Where is that at? Oh. I'm gonna find it. You go ahead, you go and spout it. Out. It's in Galatians. I think it's Galatians 3 or Galatians 1. because uh, he started off talking to them. Let me see. It's in Galatians, I think Galatians 1, I think when he actually started trying to go over this whole his the whole chapter is about basically wake up <laughs> yeah with that word I, I just want to look up that word <laughs> I, I want a better understanding of that yeah I know let me see if I can find it real quick yeah that, that's another way of saying wake up Christian yeah, I'm going to change this title uh, let me see B I think it's an E D on it now yeah he said who be with you Galatians 3.1. Galatians 3.1. Yes. That is. Who put you to, hey, look, I'm, I'm to use a better word. Who put you to sleep? Fascinating. <laughs> Off representation. Woo! Who has fascinated you with, with, with philosophy, basically? Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. Why, why are you wasting your time doing something that is opposite of the Word of God? Why are you sitting there with your hate messages and don't even recognize it? That's 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 a sad thing, buddy. I I, I did send you that. Um, <laughs> I sent a text to you and Jerry about that that facts check. That's <laughs> last week. Did, you remember he was saying about the uh, the the vaccine? Uh huh. Oh yeah. Was, yeah, and, and I, I I forgot to I sent y'all a text saying who uh, where the where the source of that? Cause we had just finished talking about uh, well, you the know, gospel. There, there's there's going to be so much information out there both ways, and that's and I've always well I've been saying. It has to be because the father of lies has to have his lies out there because the truth cannot stand unopposed. And he's saturated in it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's going to be information that's going to be both ways. I'm pretty sure he can come up with with some information saying the opposite. But the the, the bottom line is. We need to stick with the gospel. I know it. it we should, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in the direction you need to take. 
Well, and the thing, I think a lot of cases they they, they do that because it, it pulls on their emotions. You know, right. that's all they're trying to do is try to. I think the the woman called an act of adultery. It was all about the the emotions that was driving all those people. Think right. Think about that. Why would you? I don't know. We we haven't seen one before, but we seen some pictures of Stony, right? That's a very brutal. That's a very to me is a lack of compassion well, to 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 stone somebody. If you have a compassion for a law, then you can't say it's a lack of compassion. Mm. I think I think that that people just get caught up into a a sense of what uh, just I don't want to say flesh because it, it's it, although it is your flesh it, it is a a form of of, of uh, gosh I, I'm trying to find a word but anyway when 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 you know that you, the law says a thing, and then the the form of of dealing with that is to stone, and you have an opportunity to walk in that. Most people in a mob mentality will join up and and start doing things like that. They may not even. have that desire to want to stone mm. somebody but once they get riled up in there mm, you know, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. They, you get caught up into that emotion then you'll find joy in doing that you will pleasure yeah. joy, or mm -hmm. satisfaction some, some yeah. form of, of satisfaction and in, in doing that because maybe they think they're doing something that's pleasing God. God. exactly um, but the, it's completely the, sad that too didn't it but people but, say they're going to be self killing yeah. you the thing they're doing thinking they're doing for God. Yeah, but the problem is that wasn't their nature prior to that mob coming, prior exactly. to being tied to that group of folks. Ooh. Because the initial Ooh. group of people had an ulterior motive Ooh. that spread like a disease to the rest of those folks who came up, you know, and was willing to partake of this action. Mm. And so, uh, mm. thinking that they're justified, yeah, you know, but not truly understanding the full fullness of what was going on, and and then getting caught up in that moment. And and, and when you think about it, how often mm. does that happen? What what is it that we miss when what these think? things come to pass? Because I'm pretty sure there's there's when these people are out beating up these these homosexuals and killing them, you know, what what what's going through their minds? What's going through their mind? And and I'll think about what well, I'll think about it was two things came up. First of all, I'll use an example, that was modern mentality to attack capital January 26. I mean January 6, 6 January 2020, 21 or whatever it was, because they were led by the mob mentality. Most of you didn't go there with that intention in mind. Yeah. Especially the busload of church people. That nobody in their mind knew they were going to actually attack the 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 capital, right? <laughs> it's 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 just it's just weird. But one of the things I just thought about, I want to see what you heard thought about this. Remember when we talk about when the presence of God is in a worship service. And I know you've been in where you, you felt the presence of God, right? I, that, I, I think that the evolved mentality is the reversal of this evil spirit manifesting itself. Yeah. Yeah. And those people caught up into... Yeah, it, when you put it in that, that, that format, it, mm. it makes perfectly sense, you know, because it is, it is spirit based, yeah. you know, it is spirit driven. Yeah. And, uh, there is a corporate anointing that is had, that that happens with uh, 
praise and worship you know, and, and, and fellowship and, and it becomes an emotional uh, overwhelming experience yeah so, and uh, it's just the behavior is different now if you, 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 you allow yourself you can just be drawn into that atmosphere mm. of mm. praise and, and be uh, just in that moment so yeah. obviously if there is that side then there's also always got to be an opposite to that got to be. and the spirit of satan is overwhelming these people to where it's blinding their minds to see things uh clearly really and, yeah. and and operate with some common sense and and do things that they would not normally do they do yeah feel things that they would not normally feel yeah and and think things that they would not normally think yeah, because I was sitting there, like I said, you go back to the lynching thing, where the, the lynching, some of those things are actually are advertised. Come this day, we're going to lynch some people. We have them, they put the people on the postcard. I don't know who the people will be. And to, to be present, this is what I'm trying to say. It's the same like with an animal, right? But this is talking about a human being. To be present and to hear somebody cut the fingers off of a human being. I can imagine the pain, the screaming, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, I, I've seen people take pleasure in that. In some yeah, but I, 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 so you're talking about a mob though, but you're talking about a, yeah. a lynch mob, right? <laughs> to do that, I'm just talking about that, that type of lynching. Who, who would take pleasure in cutting the finger? I mean, okay, the person who's actually cutting, you talking about the person who's cutting the finger or the person who's listening? I think everybody is is uh, caught up in it. I think some people have a, a sickening feeling. Mm. Right? But because the mom is there, they just go with the status quo. You know, because you had to imagine that somebody <laughs> in that group, because you know, one of those photos talking about a little girl looking up at her person who just been lynched. Yeah. And and if that was a puppy, you know, somebody said if that was a puppy up there, that it, it would have been a painful thing for that person to see. There was a human being up there. And yet the person was able to see it. That, that's called blinded. And we're talking about sometimes a whole city, a whole town, you know? Uh, and here's that scripture that just, for, we'll wrap it up with this. The, uh, here's that scripture you and I were referring to. Get this out of the way. Let me bring it up one second. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I'm going to read that for us here. Can we talk about here? Y'all need to, I think a title will title be changed to, what do you should be Christian wake up or woke? Christians be woke. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what, what the title for this is. <laughs> uh, well, the, 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 the original title was, How Can You Hear the Gospel and Then Go Me? Yeah. Right? The, the point is, if you did hear the gospel and you went to hate, you were asleep. You, 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 you were not woke. Well, if, if 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 you didn't hear the gospel when it's being taught, then obviously <laughs> Satan has has yeah. Yeah. yeah, there, yeah. there is a, a control that that has not been overtaken. <laughs> um, yeah, and I can't imagine the person that that. Well, I guess I can because I mean I I can I can share the gospel. The natural reaction to many are to listen without hearing, <laughs> you know, or, or hear without listening. Well, we're talking about the fact that people tell us that when we first when we were saved, you read the Bible, it was like, what is this? <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. I don't know about you, you're looking at it like, 
Mm. It was in English, right? It was in English. Yeah. But it just, it just wasn't making sense to you. <laughs> So go ahead. Well, I, I remember reading the word and not having what? a clue. I, I used to, I, if you grab that Bible, not not knowing, you know, and I, and I was brought up in the church. You know, and uh, when I had a desire to read and to, and to learn and to get an idea of what was going on in the word, and I'm reading the, the Old Testament and I'm reading about all these events and everything that's happening I did not have an understanding at all yeah. my brain couldn't comprehend what was going through my mind it just it was overwhelming it was it, it made no sense to me at all mm -hmm. you know and, and which stemmed my prayer for God to, to reveal his words to me exactly. so that I can understand it to, to put me in under somebody who could break this stuff down so that I can get an understanding. Exactly. So that I can understand. And uh, and it was a process. Mm -hmm. It know, is a process. I got sent from, you know, this prayer was when I was in Houston, from Houston to, to California to Washington State to Okinawa, Japan. Yeah mainland Japan and then to Georgia just to get to where I'm at. Yeah, you it's know? amazing. And, and, yeah. And, and each one of those areas was a progression to where the understanding became more and more mm -hmm. and the wisdom uh, of, of information became more clear after the, I began to be able to put these things together line upon line precept upon precept yeah but it took yeah. it, it it was a long journey it was no different than growing up as a child learning yes. how to live in this world you know uh your maturity may come quick to some and may be slow to up for me it took it took a lifetime to get to where i am i'm not claiming that i'm anything i'm, I'm the furthest from one who is considered a scholar I, but I know what I know. Exactly. I believe what I know, and my faith is in God, is in Yeshua, and it's in the Holy Spirit, which is the the Ruach Elohim. The, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I am committed to that, and my belief is that everything that is needed for me to live this life is given to me by God through Christ, through, through Christ with the information being explained and expounded on and, and made clear by yeah. the Holy Spirit. The truth lies there. Yes. And until you understand that your covering is not your pastor, it's not a teacher. It's not yes. anyone wrapped in this flesh. It is the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. that's going to reveal Come exactly on. what Christ yeah. wants you to know. Mm. And when Come your on, faith bro. is tied to that, Come then on. the understanding of God's word to the point to where it is clear to you, mm. where you can stand on it. You can stand on that wall no matter wow. what faces you. It's tied to that. It's tied to that. And, and, and that's it, people. That, it, that is it. That um, is it. Come on, Understanding now. that Christ has sent this comfort. He did. He which did. is in us. We don't have to go to him. He's no. in us and with us and will reveal all truth, which is to reveal all Yeshua. Because that is our example. And, and, and you know, it, it used to fascinate me to hear people keep telling me, you need a covering. You need a covering. And, wow. and it would just blow my mind. Hey, hey, look, I think, Who is I think more, <laughs> more equipped than the Holy Spirit? <laughs> I, 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 think, I think it falls in line with what that scripture that you want to read to me. Because it's 
a lot of them have been bewitched. Yeah. A lot of them have been put to sleep. A lot of them have been blinded. And 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 then it's a, these preachers have been blinded and they keep passing on to the next group of people. Yeah. And 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 how can you remember the scripture said, how can you hear without a preacher? And how can you get a preacher unless he be sent? And some of them have been sent and then they went got bewitched. Yeah. Go ahead and read that for Galatians. Woo. Okay, Galatians 3 1. O foolish Galatians, who hath you with you? Mm. That ye should not obey the truth, mm. before whose eyes Yeshua have mm. been evidently set forth, crucified. Not, not, not obey the truth. Who did that? Go ahead. This only what I learned. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Mm. Are ye so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, which is what you just said. made perfect by the flesh. Wow. That, that, that says yeah, a lot. Something. Galatians 3 3, it, it, it says a lot. Mm -hmm. Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, you are now made perfect by the flesh. And that, there is a lot of a teaching right there. Right there. You get and, and, people and, uh, uh, through the Spirit into that body and then you try to perfect them with the philosophy and wisdom of this world and, and, and things that are tied to fleshly uh, uh, things. But anyway, let me finish reading. Have ye suffered so many things in vain? In vain. In vain. If it be yet in vain. And therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law mm. or by the hearing of faith. Now we yeah. know how, how Yeshua mm -hmm. was trying to walk and teach in a manner for people to grab a hold mm. of faith. He was looking for it. He was searching it out. And he was astonished when somebody who was not of those he came for had so much faith. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. 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 H